In this Logger Pro tutorial, I will walk you through the steps of how to linearize data so that we can obtain an equation that will eventually give us predictive power. I have some fake data entered into the data table, time on the horizontal axis and position on the vertical. Right now, however, the points are being connected with the lines and I don't want that. I'm gonna double click on the graph itself and turn off connect point. And I'm also going to turn on the point protectors or point symbols so that the points themselves are larger. Here is the graph as we see. If I apply a linear fit, as you can tell, the middle points are below the line, the end points are above the line, and our correlation is about 0.97, which is not great, but not terrible. We're going to try to see if we can do something better. I'm going to go ahead now and I want to see, well, if this looks like a top opening parabola, maybe what I want to do is try a different plot. I'm going to make a new plot of position versus time squared. To determine if this is a linear relationship, position versus time squared, I need to plot time squared. And since I don't have a time squared column, that's what I'm going to make now. So I'm going to go over to the data button and click on new calculated column. This new named column is going to be time squared. I'm going to go ahead and type in the short name as just being t squared. And to get the height, uh, the squared, I'm going to enter the drop-down menu and click on superscript 2. And you can see that the superscript is right there. And since time is in seconds, I'll put an S, but since we squared it, it will be seconds squared. And so I'm going to go ahead and put a superscript 2 for that as well. Now I'm ready to go ahead and tell the computer how to actually calculate this new column of values. What I ultimately wanted to do is take this column of time and multiply it by itself. So in the expression box, I will say, take this variable, this column of time, and you see it's now appearing with quotes to show that it's a column. And I can either write times itself, or I could also do caret two, like you might've seen before on some old calculators. And when I hit one, you'll see there is a new column called time squared. Once I would like to go ahead and change this graph, I can click on the time label and then actually select time squared. And you see now I have a new plot of position versus time squared. I can apply a linear fit and then proceed as we have discussed before. This is how you can analyze and linearize data using Logger Pro.